Hi, welcome you all to the Chitraranga Fine Art Academy YouTube channel. My name is Prishali and through this channel we are covering all types of drawings and paintings using watercolors, color pencils, oil pastels, uh, pen sketching, pencil sketching and many more and for all age groups. So for the regular updates like, subscribe and click on the bell icon. Let's start. In this video, you will learn the Rathayatra watercolor painting. Uh, for this, you require drawing book, A3 size, or you can use super white paper. This one is the super white paper I am using. Watercolors. These are the cake watercolors, pencil, sketch paint, and brushes. So, we will start now. First, draw a page border. Whenever you draw a page border, your scale should be parallel to the edges of the paper so that the border will be exactly straight. Now draw a straight line in the center. You can take approx distance. Now first we will draw the Jagannath Rath. There are three roads in this Yatra. Jagannath, Lord Jagannath that is Krishna. Then Balram and Subhadramata. I'm deciding first where we can take the exact location. Okay, so from top you can leave three centimeter distance. This is this size is eleven centimeter long. Then after this, this is 3.5, more than 1 centimeter. One slanting, then second slant, and the third one is straight. Now measure this distance. This is the this is the three. So I will put mark here on six. And second point is 4.5 so here again 4.5 that is 9 and come straight just draw a little bit light because we are using, uh, we'll use the watercolors. And now join this. Continue this line till this area.
double this one i'm doubling this line we'll add some curl lines here slanting line from this point join it here double it and put some curves here I'm adding some design now. Now the next step, this one also I am extending, now double this one line also. All the lines should be very parallel to each other, all the horizontal lines. Now we'll draw Lord Jagannath on this area.
will add more detailing at the time of coloring directly now here extend one more line here from inside so I'm doubling this line from inside We'll decorate with the lots of flowers design. Now on this area also double the line from inside. Put the lines on the same distance. This is the uh, middle line is for the reference so that we can draw the both the sides properly. So from this, uh, this is the reference line. So from this line, this drawing, this area should be same as this one. This one is the garland. So I will add one more line here for garland. This is the front view. So wheels we can see in this way. If it is a side view then we can see the entire complete circle of the wheel. But it's a front view. So we can see the wheels in this way. Center. Okay. Now add 
two more that This this two rods will do in single color. This one will decorate with the red one. We'll draw one more, same on this side also. I'm adding one more line here for the garlands. Now we'll start with the coloring part. Take water also. Add these lines here also on this part. On the both sides. Okay, now we have done with the drawing part. Now take the colors. I'm using the cakes water colors. Take water also to wash the brush. Okay, before using the colors, just add some water on the cake so that we can use any color easily. Now 
Now this one is the six number round brush I'm using. This is the round brush. I'm taking the yellow one. Take 50% color and 50% water. Do not use a dry brush and do not use a lot of water. Now, I'm taking a single line here on this part. As you can see, every time I'm just adding some uh, water in my brush and then using the color. This media name itself a watercolor, so we require the water with the colors. Now one more line with yellow I'm adding. Only yellow I am using. This one is the Gamboge yellow. This one is the Gamboge yellow I am using. Gamboge, chrome, any one yellow you can use. Uh, lemon yellow also you can use. Now orange, I'm using orange one. One more line of orange I am adding here. Now blue one. 
any one blue you can use this one is the cerulean blue adding one line on this part now I wash my brush and quickly spread this color the same blue I'm using here also I'm adding some more design directly with the colors. It should be same on both the sides. So this one is the reference lines and we are taking same design on both the sides. Mm. Okay. Now here also I will add one more line. You can use this one is the six number brush I'm using. You can use for the small thin lines you can use the zero number or uh, 0, 1, 2, any one number brush you can use, but it should be round brush. Now I am adding one more line here near this yellow, outer yellow. I'm adding one outer line for this circles with blue only but it is automatically changing to green because yellow previously it was yellow and when we add blue with the yellow it will change to green one. Now one more blue line. So make sure that you are uh, you are not taking a lot of color in the brush. Uh, quantity of brush and uh, sorry quantity of water and color should be same if you take the lot of color it it will be very bright more other bright ho jayega wo. the same blue let's check same blue I am using but it is this one is this line is looking little bit darker than previous this line because uh, on this side in the brush this uh, I've taken the little bit color more if you take in the, uh, water colors if you take the color more it should be dark tone and if you use the water more it will be the light tone then the yellow one uh, let it dry first then we'll do uh, I will add some circles with the yellow on this part. Okay. 
the same yellow i'm using the same yellow for the entire drawing Now the red one, scarlet red I am using, any one red you can use, scarlet, crimson, any one. Here I am using a little small brush, zero number brush I am using. Now black plus blue, I am using black plus blue. Lord Jagannath itself with Krishna, Lord Krishna. Look at his eyes. He has very big size eyes. So beautiful. Now I wash my brush properly. Mm. I am taking blue one. Then the pink one I'm using, reddish, pinkish red. I'm leaving some space for the garland. This one, white one is the garland.
Now again I am using blue plus black. See, we have used a dark tone here so that Jagannath is highlighting properly. Now I am adding the red one, scarlet red. A little bit crimson I am mixing with the scarlet. Be careful here the whole design. I am leaving that portion which we have colored previously in the first time yellow one. I am leaving that portion everywhere. 
and, con and continuing this red one on the empty space, empty white color. Uh, small kids can do coloring uh, with color pencils also. You can do coloring with color pencils also. Just draw this with the just draw this drawing with pencil first and start coloring with the color pencil. You can border with sketch pen also first and then you can color. But for watercolors you have to uh, color first and then border then you can border with marker or sketch pen now i'm adding border with this red only Now for the wheels, I'm using blue plus black. Now these two rugs we will do in single color. So use a little big size number brush, 10 or 12 you can use. Blue. So you can use cobalt or ultramarine blue also here. And a little bit mixture of black. Be careful on this part, we need to highlight this one. So we are using the dark tone. Just check this part is now highlighting properly.
watercolors you cannot give the plain uh, plain coloring you cannot do the plain coloring because watercolors is the transparent media so as you can see this somewhere you can see the light tone somewhere you can see the medium dark tones so this is the beauty of these watercolors Continue this color on both the earth. I'm not directly using black, blue plus black. I'm using. For watercolors, your paper should be thick. So you can use the uh, or regular drawing book. That paper is also good. Or you can use watercolor sheets. Watercolor paper also you can use or uh, Norway paper. Yeah, Norway paper also you can use. This one is the super white paper I'm using. Now for the background, I'm adding some lines here. I'm adding one line of red color here also. Now we will do the background coloring. Pinkish red I am using on this side. A little bit more water and less color I am using. I wash my brush and spreading this color. Now the second layer I am using cerulean blue, any one blue you can take, a little bit water more because this blue should be lighter than this one. So for watercolors, for the light shade we have to use the water more. The third one we we'll use the bullet. So red plus 
blue pinkish red i am taking that is crimson and cerulean blue again we will use the water more for this wash also In wallet, if you use a blue mold, then it will be blue wallet, and if you use the red mold, it will be red wallet. Just check here is the red color I'm using more, and now if I mix a little bit blue mold, just check this one is the blue one, blue wallet. So combination of blue plus red is the wallet shade, but it totally depends on the quantity of red and quantity of blue you are taking again i'm using water more for this wash background wash do not apply the same brush again and again when you are using the water more in the water colors uh, not apply the same color again the same color again and again on the same area Otherwise, it will damage your paper. Now we have done with the coloring part. Now let it dry first. Then we'll do the coloring. Uh, sorry, bordering with the sketch pen or marker. In the time of bordering, use the sketch pen properly. Do not press it a lot. Otherwise, it will create thick line we require the thin line black marker or sketch pen you can use i'm using this one regular sketch pen cover each and every line of gar lines also and each and every part which we have colored Now we have done with the bordering part. Here I have used a little bit thick marker for the thick border. Now I want some white dots, so I will use. Even you can use the poster color or tube water color white. I will add some dots. using the directly thick color here